Welcome back to Built to Last. I'm Ted Bennett, and today I'm driving on history. I'm driving on America's oldest concrete street, Court Avenue in Bell Fountain, Ohio. And today we're going to find out why Court Avenue is built to last. When an idea meets determination, that idea can become a reality, and that reality can change how America travels. George Bartholomew had just such an idea. What if roads could be built to last? What if concrete, a material once overlooked for paving, could be used to build roads? In the late 1800s, America was a patchwork of local roads with few intercity highways, and not hardly the highways we think of today. Streets in America were basically dirt roads, and if you were lucky, gravel. Dirt roads alternated from muddy bogs in the winter, swallowing up horse and wagon alike, flipping in spring to dust-choking thoroughfares. Let it suffice that roads and cities were a mess. But in 1891, all that began to change when George Bartholomew gained permission to try out his idea for concrete pavement in Bell Fountain, Ohio. Bartholomew, a chemist by trade, had moved to Bell Fountain in 1886 to work on an idea for concrete pavement. The Logan County area around Bell Fountain had plentiful limestone and cement, and Bartholomew believed these materials met the perfect specifications for road pavement, purchasing local marl pits and establishing his own concrete company. Bartholomew had come to Bell Fountain to prove his idea. And after five years of testing in the back room of a pharmacy, Bartholomew's idea was ready for a practical application. His proposal to the city was not exactly welcome. The city was not convinced that a concrete pavement would be durable enough to sustain horse and wagon traffic. So to gain permission for the concrete pavement trial, Bartholomew offered to do the $9,000 worth of paving at his cost, even offering up an additional bond of $5,000 to cover the removal of the concrete should it fail to last for five years. In the initial phase of the trial, an eight foot wide section of Main Street was excavated and a concrete road surface of roughly seven inches in thickness was placed upon a compacted four inch thick stone base. Now the stone base was a relatively modern road construction method called macadamizing. And macadam was revolutionary in the construction of roads like the National Road, using specifically sized or graded stones, instead of the old method of using large one foot square boulders as base. Smaller aggregates are better at locking together, therefore stronger, and forming a uniform base that also drained better. To protect against expansion and contraction of the pavement, the pavement was placed in five foot square sections with tar paper placed between the squares. And for added traction, the surface of the concrete was roughened. Both of these features seem like modern features as we look at them today. But as a civil engineer, the resemblance of this first road to the concrete pavements that I have designed is uncanny. The initial pavement along Main Street was a resounding success, so the city had Bartholomew improve all four streets surrounding the Logan County Courthouse, including Court Avenue. And Bartholomew really did get it right. Testing of the concrete with modern equipment has indicated compressive strength of somewhere between 5,000 to 8,000 PSI, which even on the low end meets ODOT's modern strength requirements. It's truly amazing that Bartholomew got it so right from the get-go, but knowing that, it's no wonder that Court Avenue is still here today. Word of Bartholomew's success with concrete pavement didn't take long to reach the national stage. In 1893, Bartholomew's Concrete Road earned first prize for engineering technology advancement in paving materials at the famous Chicago World's Fair. That World's Fair featured alternating current, Nikola Tesla's electric induction motors, and the first performance of the Pledge of Allegiance. Engineers and municipal officials traveled from far and wide to come to Bell Fountain to see concrete streets. Taking those ideas home, while well, Bartholomew took a tremendous step to perfect and build America's oldest concrete street, a lot of credit for the preservation of the street goes to the city of Bell Fountain. Sites like Court Avenue serve as an inspiration to innovators of new ideas and the engineers who make history every day with their contributions to our society. I see inspiration for the Built to Last series in the spirit that built Court Avenue. To try something new, to pursue an idea. With Built to Last, I hope to spark our engineering field with new thinking and to retrieve long-lost know-how from the past. I'm thankful to the city of Bell Fountain for preserving Court Avenue to inspire our generation of engineers. 
As America's oldest concrete street, Court Avenue remains a testament to the value of quality materials, thoughtful engineering, and of course, community pride. The paving of Port Avenue with concrete demonstrated to America that concrete could change the way we travel. And at 134 years old and still open to traffic today, I think we can most certainly say that America's oldest concrete street, Court Avenue, was most certainly built to last.